Affordable performance spec hatchbacks are now becoming quite popular. The next generation seeks looks, performance and features in just one budget friendly package. So we talk about the turbo variants of two recently launched rivals who continue to lock horns this festive season. The Hyundai Grand Titan Neos and the Volkswagen Polo. To get the exact differences between these two hatchbacks, we directly compare the Grand Titan Neos Turbo Sports Trim which starts at Rs 7.75 lakh X showroom and the Polo's 1.0 TSI Highline Plus Trim which starts at Rs 8.08 lakh X showroom. We are leaving the looks and feels for you to decide since these hatchbacks have been exciting the customers for years now. One thing we are sure about, the Volkswagen Polo is better in terms of the build quality whereas the feature packed Neos Turbo will appeal more to the modern tech savvy crowd. The Grand Titan Neos Turbo Sports is powered by a 1 litre 3 cylinder turbo GDI petrol engine. The 998cc engine manages to produce a maximum power of 100 PS and generates a peak torque of 171.6 Newton meters. The engine is paired to a 5 speed manual transmission that transmits power to the front wheels. On the other hand, the Polo 1.0 TSI Highline Plus is powered by a 1 liter TSI petrol engine. The 999cc engine generates a maximum power of 110 PS and offers a peak torque of 175 Nm. Polo offers both manual and automatic transmission options. The BS6 compliant engine of the Grand Titan Neos Turbo Sports manages to achieve a top speed of 165 kmph and offers a mileage of 20.7 kmpl. On the open straights, the Turbo Neos can clock 0 to 100 kmph in less than 10 seconds. Neos Turbo is quick, zippy, and compact, making it a fun car to drive. The BS6 compliant engine of the Polo TSI achieves a top speed of around 190 kmph and offers a mileage of 18.24 kmpl. The surprising bit here is that there is hardly anything to differentiate in 0 to 100 kmph dash with Polo 1 tenth of a second quick than the Neos despite producing 10 more horses. Polo has stood its ground for long, earning its tag as a driver's car. It's now under a treat but Hyundai's attempt to inject pure thrill into the entry segment with the Neos Turbo, we think, hasn't been a bad attempt after all. Stay tuned to Times of India for more news and updates.